Now, let us start our hands-on examples. Before moving to the real code examples, let us get ourselves familiarized with the Python editor that we will use. As I told earlier, in this entire course, we will use Google Colab as a Python editor. Sometimes, instead of just an editor, we call this environment as Integrated Development Environment or IDE. In an IDE, there is of course a code editor, there is of course the Python interpreter, along with that each of the IDE gives some extra facilities to facilitate the development process or to write your code or manage your code in a better way. For example, as you can see in Google Colab environment, along with the Python code like in here, you can write some notes also. There are several other facilities, but I am not going into the details right now that you will uh, realize once you will start utilizing this Google Colab. Anyway, since Google Colab is an online Python editor, you really do not need to install anything in your machine. All you need to have a valid Google or Gmail account. With that, you can easily use Google Colab. At this point, I would like to recommend to pause this video for a few seconds and follow these instructions that I have written in this first paragraph uh, with the title Managing Files in Google Colab. Here in this paragraph, you will get the instruction to how of instruction for how to create a new file in Google Colab, how to download a file as an IPyNB or IPython notebook from Google Colab, and also how to upload the, an existing IPyNB file from your local machine to Google Colab in order to start working on it.